hello, my name is Stefan. I come from S2 Business, a leading Wi-Fi Hello chip provider. And as you can see, this is an example of one of our Wi-Fi Hello solutions, this one being a Mac Plus baseband system. As you can see here, all of the blue blocks uh, were designed by us using various Cadence tools, such as Virtual System Platform, that actually helped us a lot in development of the Mac firmware, as, it, as we were able to debug it while, soft, while hardware was in development. And also, a lot of these purely hardware blocks were developed using Cadence HLS2. But today we will talk about a digital baseband, a block that was developed using Stratus HLS. As is always the case with implementing new technology, the biggest challenge of all is of course being first. So when we kicked off the baseband implementation project on July 2018, we only had our initial floating point MATLAB model, which we wanted to validate as soon as possible, and we saw the opportunity to do so on the September 2018 Wi-Fi Alliance test event. Moving on, we wanted to use our MATLAB model in verification as a golden reference in our UVM verification test environment. And of course, we wanted to have a fully implemented and functional baseband integrated into our Mac Plus baseband FPGA system using an RF radio to participate in the January 2019 plug fest. And of course, we needed a methodology to help us achieve all of this using Stratus HLS. So we came up with this. Uh, starting off with our MATLAB model, the first step in the hardware development track, as you can see on the top, is uh, the c implementation of a bit accurate system C model. That would later be used to generate an RTL design using Stratus HLS, and we were able to perform various analysis of this RTL design using Stratus HLS and optimize our system C model to gain to get the required RTL uh, design that we wanted. As you can see on the bottom we also use the system C test bench uh, which was also made, made, made possible by Stratus uh, tool that allowed us to simulate the same test bench on our system C model as well as the RTL design. And that test bench was used to perform various behavioral uh, validation checks as well as various performance checks on our RTL design. And here we come to the uh, system C modeling phases. We split that into two phases, the first one being implementation of a behavioral system C model, which did not care about hardware in any way, it just defined the required behavior of the RTL and was not made to be synthesizable or optimal for any kind of hardware synthesis. Uh, as it uh, also uh, abstracted various uh, hardware properties such as uh, interfaces, timing and scheduling. But then uh, later we upgraded that model to be a synthesizable system C model which we used uh, Stratus HLS to synthesize. We did this of course by adding small uh, coding changes such as partitioning and adding a wide variation of uh, Stratus HLS directives to the design. And of course, this synthesizable system C model was uh, optimized in the runs, which consisted of uh, synthesizing an RTL, then performing the performance checks and validation checks, as well as FPGA tests on that design, and that, then using that information to change and optimize the system C model for the Stratus tool. As you can see on the right, uh, we were able to drive the area down significantly using the Stratus HLS and small code optimizations during just a small amount of uh, optimization runs, in this case five optimization runs. Using Stratus HLS we were able to achieve our goal of participating and participated very successfully on a uh, Wi-Fi Alliance plug fest in January 2019. and. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, we were Mets to Business. If you want to learn more, visit us on Mets2Business.com and thank you for your attention.